Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Virgo for the week of July 24th through the 30th of 2023. And at this time I would like to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow. Thank you very much. As well as those who have been watching my videos and giving them thumbs up letting me know that they enjoyed them and watched them. Thank you. All right. So you're starting off with the seven of pentacles. So you planted some seeds. You got some good ideas going and you're just waiting for the payoff, payout. You put energy and effort into something quite a bit. And now you're patiently waiting for it to take flight. So that's beautiful. Yeah, look at your ideas. You got seven of cups. You have such wonderful ideas and you have so much follow through and you also know that with each step you take it brings you closer to your achievements and you so you're doing it you know you're not getting swayed off and you can see at the end of the tunnel what you're going to accomplish so you're setting your goals in your mind one step at a time and you're doing it each and every day and the four of cups so there you are you know you're just sitting there looking patiently waiting you know you're you desire more in your life and you're just having to tell yourself to you know cool your jets a little bit step back a little bit and patiently wait because it is coming and will be given to you you know so curbing that impulse to want it to happen and patiently waiting is sometimes hard for all of us and the sun card so there you go you are headed in the right direction you know you're feeling more optimistic about your possibilities and your life and your decisions and choices and you can see that with that sort of insight it's also helping you feel more healthy and wealthy and things are just coming out of the shadows and into the light to help you so you're stepping out in such a beautiful ray of sunshine and positivity that you know it's going to come about and the king of swords all right you are flooded with ideas optimistic you know, if there's a problem at all, you're figuring it out, you're fixing it, you're heading the project, you know, any any projects that are, you know, wavering, you're attacking them and fixing them, you're finding solutions. And as you do each one of these steps, you're making sure that you're getting the recognition for what you've brought to the table. Ooh, and celebrations, three of cups. So look at you, celebrating, happy times, happy friends, get-togethers. This could be an invite for some of you to, you know, go out for the evening, just, you know, go out for dinners, go to anniversaries, birthdays, all that sort of stuff. And this could be you just celebrating because you want to celebrate. It's the weekend sort of thing. But you're having get-togethers and you're being invited out. And you're going to accept them. And you're going to be quite happy that you did. You know, you're going to float in there and people are going to turn around and notice you. And, and you're going to attract the right people. And you're going to make the right friends that fit you. And the five of pentacles. That's all right. That's a slight little hiccup in the greater scheme of life. You know, a little bit of financial loss. Could be due to ailments. You know, could be due to miscalculation of a price um, and it could be that you're worried or over analyzing something over nothing you're assuming you know something worse is going to happen and it's needless because it's nothing's going to happen at all so you know you need to get out of your head a little bit more and the death card you know you've come up against these people in your life that has taught you a lot and sometimes not pleasantly and you've learned to close the doors let it go you're accepting that you know what they've taught you so be it 
but you're not going to allow it to ever happen again. So you're closing the doors on your past and opening the door to your future, which is beautiful because you're moving forward. You're in total um, motion going forward. And you're glad that what you've gone through has taught you things so that your eyes are open and never to be closed again. And the chariot card. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. For some of you, you're thinking of taking a, a trip as well, you know, usually by vehicle. And you're making sure that your vehicles are in top shape. So that's very, very good. And this could be just, you know, to another town or whatever, going shopping. But you're enjoying it. You know, you're turning the music on, you're going down the road. You're not you got a care in the world. You're just content. And on for others of you, it's just, this is a dead-end situation, such as in a relationship or a job. You're realizing that it's not going to go any farther or get any better. And so you're taking proper steps to set yourself free now so that you can see the victory at the end. You know, you're mastering your emotions and you're curbing your, you know, your um, attitude to just, throw it away and you know go on to something else you're sticking with it until you get the right steps going forward for yourself you're not going off half cocked all right and the seven of swords so most definitely you are keeping this under your hat you're keeping to yourself you're not really sharing what you're what you're up to lately with anybody because you don't want anybody to know and they don't need to. You know, you're doing this because it's the right steps for you. And the Four of Pentacles. So you're watching your P's and Q's. Watching your bottom spending line. Making sure that you have enough in the bank. That you're not over, you know, over extending yourself. And you're, you're very good at that. At, you know, watching your money. And you put it in the bank accounts. And you try to make sure that, you know... If for some reason you couldn't work tomorrow for the next month, you know, that your rent or your mortgage or whatever would be paid for. So without worry till the following month, of course, but you're okay with that. So it, it stops you from doing a lot of silly spending, but it also holds you back at the same time from doing something for yourself. But this is the week that you're going to spend a little bit and try to not worry about it and the nine of pentacles so there you are you know independent holding your own quite secure you have enough you know you have enough you know and you're trying to come to an understanding in your mind of ease that you don't have to keep worrying all the time and that's where you want to accomplish things in your life that's where your end goal seems to be you know, you're just got good friends, you're, you know, you're rich in spirit, you have financial security, good job, good money, you know, you're moving forward in, in a positive note, but you don't want to let any of it go. So you're keeping to yourself a little bit more. And the two of swords. So there you are, trying to make a decision. You're on the fence about something. Which way to go, that sort of thing. And I think it's to do with between, you know, could be jobs or relationships for some of you. And you're just trying not to rock the boat. You just don't want any more drama in when you make a choice. So that's why you're, you know, keeping more to yourself about what you're uh, expectations are in the future and you're accepting that you know it's not going to come easy you have to compromise a little bit to get going forward but you're willing to compromise just enough to see that the growth is on a positive side so that's beautiful but you guys are moving in a really good light you're starting to you know, keep more things to yourself. You're not really sharing with anybody who doesn't need it to be shared with. And you're moving forward. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your prospects are quite good here for financial gain, moving forward in the future, 
being quite content and capable of taking care of yourself and making good decisions. All right. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Why isn't that beautiful? And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Until then, bye for now.